tonight. We're going to do something a little different. Um, actually dreamed about this. I dreamed I did a Bob Ross style painting with fluid art techniques. I have a clue if this is going to work. It may be a total fail, but we're going to try it regardless. Um, worst case scenario, at least I got to play around with it and have a little bit of fun. Uh, so what we're going to do basically is I was going to play the Bob Ross video along, but I'm afraid of copyright hits, and I don't know how people do it. I don't know if you have to leave, like, a credit to Bob Ross in the description, how that works. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know how that works, because I would totally be up to doing that. But uh, for now, we all know pretty much what a Bob Ross painting looks like. you got your sky, you got your mountains, maybe some water, you got your big pine trees, your happy trees. I have a couple more happy trees probably in here and uh, hopefully this turns out all right but uh, I hope everybody's doing okay this evening uh, one of the things I'm gonna do here I am going to because he gives his he paints in oil paints for anybody that doesn't know I don't know who wouldn't but most people I'm assuming you're gonna know who Bob Ross is uh, he paints in oil paints these are acrylics obviously um, he also, he paints his background with a product that he has called Liquid White. Uh, it keeps his paint fluid. Well, we're not going to have to worry too much because our paint's going to be pretty fluid. We're going to work quickly enough that we're not going to let it dry out. I am going to give this a really thin coat of Liquid White. I don't want to do a whole lot because, I mean, uh, uh, my white fluid art paint. I don't want to really go heavy with it because I don't want the colors to blend a whole lot. I'm trying to actually do like more of a painting with it. Uh, actually trying to come up with something it resembles a Bob Ross painting so we'll see how this goes guys this like I said this was in my head I dreamed about this and I've been thinking about it for a couple of days and I keep saying oh no I'm not gonna do that that's silly but you know what sometimes silly is good and silly is fun I had a silly car one time anybody that knows me from back in Kentucky if you're watching my video they know about the ladybug I had a Geometro convertible. It was painted yellow with black polka dots. And it had eyelashes and lips and yellow and black polka dotted seats. And a little banner across the front that said Little Ladybug. And I worked at the zoo, so you can imagine people coming into the zoo. A lot of people got to see it. And they would come in and go, oh, there was the cutest car in the parking lot. It looks like a ladybug. And my employees would be like, hers <laughs> but she made everybody smile if you looked at her you sometimes you just smiled and wondered what is that crazy woman doing but and other people looked at her and smiled because she was truly really beautiful so I'm gonna start here with these are all they're called Nick Pro and they are pre-mixed fluid art paint uh, I'm gonna start out with these I've got a couple of my own colors, and I'm going to put the colors in the description box, but this is just a basic blue. I got this set off of Amazon. It hasn't been bad. I still like mixing my own paints, too, but I thought, well, I'll just make this fun and easy. Like I said, this isn't... This is just something I'm trying. All right, so he always starts with his darker blue up here in the corners. That's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go across the top a little bit. Then we're going to come in, we're going to do a little bit lighter blue. Alright. And then we're going to take our palette knife and we're going to spread this, kind of blend it together. He does little X strokes here. We'll kind of see if we can do like little X strokes while we blend it. Okay, 
Okay, kind of like that. I like how it's blending. Get me a paper towel here to wipe off my palette knife. Okay, so now we want to put some clouds up here in the sky. You know Bob Ross, he's always got his pretty clouds up here. Little puffy, billowy clouds. We're going to try to do something like that. See what we can do here. This is not working. Okay, I'm going to try to go easy with this. I'm going to do just a little bitty line of white here. Okay, and maybe right here. Alright. So now what we're going to do with those, I think we're going to actually blow those out using a straw. All right, we didn't guys think that looks like clouds. I think it kind of looks like some clouds here. Okay. Now, what kind of Bob Ross painting would it be if we didn't do some mountains? We got to do some mountains, guys. I think what I'm going to do with the mountains is I'm just going to squirt some black paint here. I'm going to put my palette knife in it, and I'm going to use my palette knife, and I'm going to make our mountains here. I need a little more black there. Really seems light and light touch. Okay, that's light touch, Bob. You're right. All right. It's hard to do. I'm left-handed and I can't swipe left-handed. Tell me why that is. These are kind of looking a little like mountains. And I'm gonna do one more this way. All right. Okay, so I think we have our dark side of our mountain preset here, but we need our highlight side. So he always takes and he wants you highlight this side. So what I'm going to do here, put a little puddle of white right there, a little puddle of white right here. Okay, and then I'm going to take a paper towel. And I'm going to just lightly swipe it. Alright. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I 
guys. I need a little more white right here. Right there, and maybe a touch right over here. Like I said, I'm not even sure if this idea is going to work, but it's going to be a fun, fun process to try. Alright, so we're going to bring that down. I have my paper towel cut in various size strips here. Oh, nice. Okay, so now at the bottom of his base of his mountains, he always wants to give it kind of a misty effect. So in order to do the misty effect, I'm going to take a balloon and I'm going to kind of pounce it on here. Wipe it off. We're going to pounce it. There's our misty effect here. hate it so far guys is it perfect no is it kind of what I'm envisioned yes all right so now I think we're gonna do some water we're going to do some water right here. So we are going to do the same thing. Nope, we're going to do just the opposite. We're going to start with a little bit lighter here. And we'll do the little darker next to it. And I think we're gonna I think we're gonna use the palette knife with this again. going to be our water here. I'm going to come back on the top of that. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to take and use the tip of our, the end of our palette knife here, and we're going to kind of make some swirls in the water. We're actually going to do the little Cutting technique here. I need some white. I'm gonna pour a little bit of white here on the table. I'm gonna dip my palette knife, the edge of my palette knife in it. We could try to do a Bob Ross palette knife one where he uses nothing but a palette knife. That might be interesting. I feel like if anybody could pull that off, it'd be uh, Molly and Marta, Molly's artistry. 
really, really good with the palette knife. Me, not so much. All right. Okay, so I feel like it's kind of coming together. All right, so over here on the side, we're going to have us some land mass. I think we're going to take a little bit of brown. some brown here. I'm going to mix some shades of green in it. And we're going to balloon pounce it and then we'll take some I have a scraper here that came I think with my resin and we're going to use that and give it some grassy effect. blue the green and the brown here I want some green and brown Now I think I'm going to take some lighter green and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the table. And I'm going to run this through it. Doing a little swipe up here with it, guys. I don't know if you can see it. I'm hoping everybody can see it right. Is it turning out okay? For anybody who watched my copper fire painting video, I appreciate that. And uh, I have a new video coming up tonight. This one will be up probably Saturday, Sunday, probably Sunday night. Um, next night that I'm off and uh, I am going to be doing another copper plain one I got a little bit larger pieces of copper I'm not 100% sure how large it's like a scrap copper bag that I got off of Amazon and uh, I'm dying to see the pieces in it and I'm really I'm really really liking this copper so I'm hoping you guys aren't getting tired of it because it's just something that really really intrigues me i've also been researching online apparently you can do the similar technique with brass so we may at some point try that i also got the little bezels to make the jewelry with to put it on the back of those copper discs so i don't have to trail drill the holes in it and uh they will be here tomorrow so when i do the next copper video we will have everything we need to do whatever we want to do with it all right guys what do we think i think this kind of looks like Bob Ross painting. I need, think we need some like orange in the grass over here. Put a dab of orange here. Maybe a little orange goes here. We're just going to take our little scraper here. Put a little orange in here. All right. What are we thinking, guys? Thinking this looks anything like a Bob Ross painting at all? <laughs> Not yet, but maybe. Okay, so next thing we're going to try, we are going to try doing, um, try some happy trees. So my thoughts on the trees are what I'm thinking about doing here. 
I think I'm going to run a line of green. Right down the center here. Okay, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to take some brown. Maybe a spot or two of that. And then I'm going to take a thin line of black. This is where my little different sized pieces are going to come in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller pieces and I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to swipe out. piece here. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm gonna run this down center. Maybe the trees are going to be harder than I thought. Okay, I don't know about that tree, so let's try a different technique on the tree then. Let's try. Okay, so all the trees, trees need a friend. We all know this. Bob Ross will tell you that really, really, really quick. They need a friend. So we're going to put a line going right here. And then this time I'm going to put just a shot of green by this other green here. Just dropped a couple drops on the table, on my tablecloth here. And I'm going to dip the paper towel in it. And then this way I'm going to try swiping as well and see what we get.
Hmm. What do you think? If we're looking at anything at all like trees or is it just a muddy mess? Keep in mind guys I'm trying to do this with strictly fluid art techniques. I could take a brush and I could touch it up and make it look like a tree more. But I'm trying to do this strictly with just swiping and maybe a balloon count here. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm gonna try doing them down at the base of the tree. We're gonna try to give it some bushes here. All right, let's try to do a different tree, a different way. Maybe we're gonna try to blow a tree. So what I'm gonna do this time I think I'm going to start with the light green. No, actually, I'm going to start with the black again. I'm going to put a big one over here. All right. Now, I'm going to do a little spot of green down here. Spot right there, and a bigger spot right there. And we're going to take our bright green, we're going to go on top here. All right, so now. See what we can do by blowing it. Okay, that didn't work out any better. <laughs> so we know little pine trees are hard with the fluid art. I'm trying here. I'm trying to make it halfway look like. Something that resembles a pine tree.
probably just the tip of this knife and see what we can do here. Okay, let's hope this side maybe, I think. Okay, so maybe that's what we need to do here. We're going to scratch in, so we scratch it in some little limb, limbs and twigs and stuff here. We're going to take our black and we're going to scratch in a few of those. I think in the back we want to add some, what looks like maybe some trees back here. make it look like maybe there's some pine trees way in the background. Alright. Okay, so this tree looks like it's fixing to fall over into the water, but that's all right. His friend's gonna hold him up, so. Well, guys, what do you think? Bring it down for a close-up. 
It didn't turn out as bad as I envisioned. What do we think, guys? Well, like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. Well, this might have been a happy accident. But, we're going to try something here. We're going to try torching this white. We're going to see if we can get some cells. No, oh, no. For some reason that paint burns. Let me turn my torch down. I'm not even close to it, really. After here, and we're just going to pop any bubbles. Alright, well, guys, what do we think? Thanks for hanging with me. Let me know. Uh, put a comment in the description box whether you love it or hate it. Uh, we are going to be doing another copper copper flame painting video really soon I have a couple more ideas for paintings but this was just a fun one that I wanted to do like I said I had a dream about it and it would be doable maybe but I'm not proficient at any of these techniques I'm okay at them so all right guys well have a great night I'll see you next time bye